to CDA Miami Kids, where we learn more about God. This is week two of Go! Last week, we learned that God gave us a mission. Let's see what today's lesson is about. But let's praise and worship the Lord first, shall we? never far from us, and that is awesome! Where is my co-host? Hello, Lisita, CDA <laughs> families, friends, and everybody. How is everyone today? We are okay, Catalina. What about you? Are you okay? Yes, I am more than okay. I am very happy. Happy and flowery. Oh yeah, sorry. I just finished a cake and all the desserts for the client's wedding, about 150 guests. I flew non-stop to get here as quickly as possible. I have been baking for about 12 hours. This was a last-minute request. Whoa, last-minute request? How is that? This client placed her order to one of the best chefs in town. Sadly, he got sick and had to cancel all the orders, including hers. When she called me, she was very upset. I couldn't say no. When I hung up, I realized how big this task was. So I was the one who freaked out. My mother and sister calmed me down and offered to help. Oh, thank God they were able to help you. Yes, even Susanna Abe was there helping us. I directed the whole process and they followed my lead extremely well. Everything came out as fantastic. <laughs> That's so nice to have people who help us, isn't it? When we're having a problem, whether it's at school or at home, whether it's big, like it was in Catalina's case, or small, there are people in our lives that we can ask for help. You're right, my dear. <laughs> but what if we needed help to do the right thing when it's hard, make good decisions, and we just don't know how to choose or be brave when things are really, really scary? How, who will help us with these things? I think Danny will answer your question with the Bible story. Oh, I think so too. Let's go! Let's go! 
Hey kids, have you ever gone on a long journey? What kinds of things do you think you'd need? A map? Snacks? A horse? This month, I want to tell you about some people who went on journeys all over the world to tell people about Jesus. On each of their journeys, God gave them exactly what they needed in order to go. Are you ready to hear today's story? Okay, let's go! One day, after Jesus went back to heaven, his followers got together to pray and meet. Then they heard a big, loud wind sound. Whoosh! Can you make a sound like wind? Whoosh! Now, wind is pretty normal, right? We feel wind all the time. But do you usually feel the wind when you're inside? No! This wasn't any ordinary wind. Jesus' friends knew something strange was happening because when they looked around at one another, they saw everyone had a little fire floating above their heads. Then, as though the wind and fire weren't amazing enough, everyone began to speak in all kinds of languages. But even though they were talking in different languages, they could understand one another. The Bible tells us these things happened because everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. God's Spirit! Before he went to heaven, Jesus told the disciples this would happen. And now it had come true! God had sent the Holy Spirit just like Jesus had promised. The Holy Spirit is a special helper who God sent us. God's Spirit shows us how to love others and to make good choices. When we choose to believe in Jesus, God gives us the Holy Spirit. So let's go! Hello, CD... Oh, hold on. Hello, CDA families, kids, and friends. I am very excited to share today's Bible story. It's from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Let's read. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Not long after Jesus went up to heaven, the followers of Jesus were together in one place. Then the people heard a big, loud wind. Let's make a wind sound. The people looked around and saw what looked like fire above them, but the fire did not hurt them. What the fire did was fill everyone there with the Holy Spirit. Then an amazing thing happened. The people who were there started speaking all kinds of different languages that they had never spoken before. With the help of the Holy Spirit, God would be able to talk to each person and help them every day. The Holy Spirit helps us too. The Holy Spirit helps us to be brave when we're afraid. The Holy Spirit comforts us when we're sad. And the Holy Spirit also helps us to do the right thing. Catalina, come on in. Hey everybody, give me a drum roll. This week's big idea is... God gives us the Holy Spirit. Repeat it with me. God, God gives, gives us, us the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Now only you. One, two, three. Very good. Isn't that so cool? I am so glad that God gave us the Holy Spirit. He's the one who helps us make wise choices. Speaking of wise choices, now it's time for us to wash our hands, wings, or paws with lots of soap for at least 20 seconds. That's a very wise choice. And you, my dear, need to wash your entire body, head, and well, everything. <laughs> I know. Sorry about that. I was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. L at least Lizzie already told me the entire story. You don't have to tell me. Huh. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. And now it's time for the Bible verse of the month. Do the motions with me. Matthew 5, 16. Let your light 
shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify our Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. Parents, remember to always go to the Blooms app to download the coloring pages, God time, and some other resources and fun activities for you to do at home with your kids so that they can grow spiritually in a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus. And also to get more points to win the mystery box when you upload their work to the Blooms app. If you don't have the application yet, here's the link. In Matthew 9, 14, Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And now it's time to pray. Bow your head with us. God, thank you so much for all these people that are here with us. Thank you so much for giving us your only son to die for us. And because of him, we are able to have eternal life. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit because it's through Him and with Him that we're able to know which is the right choice. Thank you for loving us so much. In your holy name we pray, amen. 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 Thank you for being here with us today. And don't forget, on Wednesday, we have another amazing Zoom session. That's right. Preschoolers from 5 to 6 p.m. I'll be there with you. Catalina, you're all clean now. And elementary school is from 6 to 7 p.m. Listen to the Holy Spirit and invite someone new. Yes, everyone is welcome to learn about Jesus' love. And remember, God, God gives, gives us the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Bye! Bye.